So what role does costume serve in, in film? Well, normally it's social or psychological. That is, it identifies the class and the background of the character or the profession. And although I use this costume to express or impress, not to describe or define, which is how it's often used by other directors. This is uh, Pepe Luffy bomb. I don't know if you remember this. Uh, the wardrobe supervisor was someone called Manuela Camacho. And here we have the three title characters from left to right. Alaska in a punk day glow leopard print. Ava Siva, who plays a masochistic housewife, in a rather coy lace mini dress. And Carmen Maura in a glam rock halter top. So we have a kind of clashing styles here in a single frame. Live flesh, the wonderful Angela Molina brutalized housewife, but she's wearing a leopard skin coat. Again, <laughs> not really the kind of thing that a housewife would have access to. This is the, the most recent film to date, but this is Gautier's body suit in nude, I think is the color. And you can't, I'm not sure if you can see it, it has raised hems, which are like scars. And that's, that's a thematic connection with the film because it's about plastic surgery. The most thing I, I love in, uh, with, with Almodovar is use fashion to, to explain metaphor. Of, of things about the, the character of each character. For example, when, when, when Paul show, show us this image of Penelope in broken braces with the gold change in Chanel, it's very um, disturbing me because she, like a prisoner, married with a man that sh uh, she doesn't love and in love with another man. So look at her with this golden change at the end of a prisoner or in a golden cage. There, there is a lot of uh, moments about, about uh, with Almodovar, um, with close to, to, to fashion. The most thing I, I love in, uh, with, with Almodovar is somehow he wants to show the, the world about his culture and about the, the Spanish uh, fashion designers, in this case with, with uh, Francis Montesino. And there's always a very sort of distinct point of view to each character and how the makeup is done and how they sort of translate beauty. It's not always beauty in a, as you might say, traditional sense. And, you know, like we say, Almodovar is obviously driven and inspired by fashion. And in return, it's a, a two-way conversation, you could say. He, he seems to have a, a strong drive for also pushing the boundaries and creating a whole new new style and beauty. There is a very personal way to understand everything. All the, these colorful places, his real life is, is, is like this. Because he, he, for example, told me that when he started living in the, in the, new, in the new house, he thought about, okay, I will put the, the white uh, walls and more quiet or whatever, but at the end he, he, he said, I, I couldn't. At the end I, I, paint, I paint one orange and one, and he mixed everything. <laughs> it's, it's amazing, it's like a special vision or, or, and very personal. He mixes up, as, as David was saying, mixes things in a kind of an eclectic way too, because yeah, they simply don't go together. But, but somehow in his films he gets them to tie together. Well, even the characters. Yeah, they simply don't belong in the same world. They're, they're, they're from different worlds altogether. But I think just the idea of taking it outside of typical reality and, and pushing all the boundaries and, and, and using elements of fashion and style and pop art, and all of it and sort of mushing it together and, and what could become chaos ends up being these fantastic films. How do you see the influence or the dialogue of Pedro Almodovar with the fashion world? I mean, I can start by clearly saying uh, Rosa La Palma. She's just one of those fascinating people who has become hugely famous for being a character. She has gone on to be on the runways of Jean Paul Gaultier. She's a superstar, really, in the fashion industry particularly. He, Famous designers, uh, you know, the Marc Jacobs of the world and people, and Chanel, uh, Karl Lagerfeld. You know, when you think of how much money somebody is going to pay for a Chanel gown or Chanel outfit, you're going to think, uh, well, you better go safe on that one. And more and more we see that everybody's willing to challenge it a little bit, step out of it, step out of the safe zone and go somewhere a little bit, you might say, provocative. And I think Pedro Almodovar's, he started that whole era of. of stepping away from the norm, challenging what we traditionally paid for. I would like to thank our speakers tonight for your generosity and everyone for being here.
Thank you. Thank you.